All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today, what we got going on today is we got a Yamaha Rhino clone. Okay, so this is a Chinese variation of it. Um, it's 90% the same as the Rhino clone. So like all the body panels and stuff will switch over. The suspension will switch over. You know, the cooling system. Basically, the only thing that's different is the engine in here. Um, this is a 650 cc fuel injected engine. Um, runs really well. Um, the problem we're having is it would not charge the battery. Um, so real simple, um, real simple how to test this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to check the output at the stator and the output um, of the um, voltage regulator and see if the see if it's putting out. Um, there is a common problem on these with a bad ground, and I'll show you how to fix that as well. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to be checking the output of the, the uh, stator. And it's a three-phase stator on this. And so we've got to find these yellow wires. Okay, they're all yellow. There's two connectors on this model. Um, and we're going to check from, with, you know, our, our uh, test leads here. We're going to set our voltmeter here to AC voltage. Okay, on the 200 setting or the 20 setting, either one will work. And what we're going to do... Is we're going to check for voltage between this one here and it doesn't matter which way you put your you know if you put the positive or the negative on here and then check to this prong here and then check to this one and then move this over to one of these and check between both of these as well and we should see between 24 to 28 maybe maybe even as high as 30 volts coming off of this um, so when, on your voltmeter, the way this works is you'll see right here we got the straight line with the dot dot dot. Okay, that's your DC voltage. Um, down here we have volt, you know, the volt sign with a squiggly line, and that means alternating current. Um, very similar to what you would use if you're testing something in your house. So let's go ahead and get her started. All right, hopefully you can hear me, but now we got her running, and I'll talk loud. Got to get my my test leads here. All right, so hopefully you can hear me now. We're gonna put one test lead on to one prong here. Come on. Not always the easiest thing to try and do with only two hands. Sometimes the alligator clips work a lot better. And then we're gonna check this one here. And you see we got right around 25, 26 volts. So then we're gonna check this one. 25, 26 volts, okay. So then we're gonna check here. And we got 25, 24, 25 volts, okay. All right, so now we know the stator is, is uh, putting out voltage, okay. So now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug these back in to their, their connectors. And um, we're gonna move over to the voltage regulator, which is underneath the hood. Okay, um, we're going to make sure that the wires are good from here all the way up to the voltage regulator. All right, so now what we're going to do is you see your voltage regulator, it bolts up here. I've already disconnected it. There's also a ground wire um, that bolts on using this bolt, okay? So I've already unbolted it and removed the ground wire. First thing we want to check is on the black connector, you have two wires, black and, and uh, red. And we want to set our voltmeter here to 20 volts DC voltage, okay? And what we should see here is we should see battery voltage. Okay. Looks like 12.98. So we got battery voltage there. So that connection is good. We'll go ahead and pop that back on. Make sure she locks in, and then we're going to disconnect this one. Now, those yellow wires we just tested, they change colors, but they're still these are still the wires that go directly to the stator. So we're going to test the voltage across those in AC. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start her back up. All right, we're going to put our meter here back to 
200 volts. AC, sorry, can't get this out of the way. All right, so we're gonna put our meter back on to 200 on AC current. And we are going to start on one side here. And make sure you guys can see this. Come on. All right. And we're going to check here. Got that same 20, 26, 27 volts. Check this one. Okay, good. And then move our other prong over so we can check between these two. We got to check each circuit. Okay, so we definitely have voltage going into our, our um, voltage regulator. Now, so we plug her back in. Okay, now we can disconnect this to see if the voltage regulator is putting out any electricity. So we put her back at 20, and with the engine running, because you need it to make power, we're going to touch to these two prongs, and it doesn't matter. I mean, it, 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 if, it's, if you have it backwards, it'll just show up as a negative number. So you can see here we have 16.06 volts coming out of it, okay? So that means it's going to the battery. Now, one thing on these Chinese machines, and let me shut her off and I'll clarify that. All right, on these Chinese machines, this ground I actually have moved down here. Now this ground is what was causing uh, my no charging problem, okay? Um, this ground is grounded to here, okay, through the thing. The problem is, is when they make these Chinese machines, they use like a rhino coating on the, on the frame, and they already, they drill the holes, then they paint the frame, and then they put these, these rib nuts in um, so it doesn't actually make a contact with ground and so when they had this grounded through the bolt here it wasn't actually grounding it um, so it wasn't charging the battery and this is how it came from the factory um, so this was defective from the factory so it's something you definitely want to check on these and all I did is I took the cable I bent it down here and put it straight to the power steering because this one comes with factory power steering and she charges great now now I just got her bolt these back up and we're good to go now I did get this machine from a company that I'd like to mention because the guy is a great guy um, his name's Tim he is the owner of EcoFun Motorsports in Forest Lake Minnesota um, I'll provide a link to his website if you're interested in any kind of uh, you know Yamaha machines actual Yamaha machines or Chinese variations of scooters and such give him a call um, you know he, he'll get you sorted out but uh, basically, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. Um, most of the time, these, these Chinese machines are actually, they're, they're pretty reliable. Um, they just have a problem with, uh, with bolts and nuts coming loose because they don't lock tight anything. Um, and then, also, all these connections, um, you got to weather, you know, take them apart, put some dielectric grease in them, and then put them back together. So when you do go through deep water or mud or anything... Um, she doesn't get ruined. But anyway, thanks for watching.